welcome back to another week of college football. It's week six. There's been a lot of action over the weekend. And if you're a Missouri or a Michigan fan, you might want to look away. Now, Cam, there's been some crazy upsets this week. Which one was your favorite? Okay, so my favorite, I'm going to have to go with it. Q's beating UNLV. Q's the second ranked win of the year. Again, they, they've been seem to be having trouble with their special teams and a little bit on the defense, but a big defensive play by Deuce Chestnut and a great defensive performance by Fidel Diggs. Kept, they still scored 41 on us, but took it to OT at least, and a killer game by LaQuinn Allen, four touchdowns, beating UNLV 44 to 41. And so two other games that are huge upsets, of course you gotta talk about Vanderbilt beating Alabama 40 to 35. So that's Vanderbilt's biggest win ever. They've lost the last 60 games to top five teams. And they've, and they've also lost 23 straight to Alabama. And this was just a huge win. Great performance by the QB, Diego Pavia. And it just gave them a huge win to build from for the rest of the season. They look pretty promising. They went to OT with Missouri. They beat Virginia Tech. It's a good season so far. Sky's Three and the two. limit. Yeah. Yeah, you're so, fan. Got to be happy about that goalpost, too. <laughs> <laughs> and also, Arkansas beating Tennessee. So Arkansas, they were down 14-3 to in the third quarter. And they ended up winning. Quarterback Taylor Green got hurt with, like, the few minutes left. But... Backup quarterback Malachi Singleton, he was able to win them the game with a touchdown drive with only a minute 17 left, and they beat Tennessee. Yeah, which he, is a, he punched that last score, yeah. and he did it himself on that last which one. Which is a huge upset against a Heisman, a Heisman contender in Nico and just the team that looked like they really had a chance to make the college football playoffs in Tennessee. Yeah, Kurt? yeah so then you had an A&M beating Missouri. I mean, a game that maybe coming into the year you could throw either way, but Missouri's looked really good, almost dominant. You're like locked for the playoffs. Well, guess Guess what? Not anymore. Texas A&M at home, 41-10. to Huge win. I mean, kind of a marquee win of this Mike Elko program now. He gets to build off of that. He gets to maybe get this team into the playoff. I think they could sneak in now. And then moving on, you know, out to the West Coast, you have Washington beating Michigan. Michigan, you think, you know, Sharon Moore, he takes over as head coach. Same old, you know, going to keep the program going. It's kind of off to a rocky start. Washington picks up Jed Fish, and it seems like they're going to go back to their winning ways and, have, you know, card themselves out a little, a little niche in the, in the Big Ten. Um, then you got Minnesota beating USC. You know, I was kind of touching on this to start the season. I felt like some of these Pac-12 teams are going to get killed by the, by the ground-heavy run game yeah, of, just such of a the Big Ten. Just style of play. Yeah, it's a different style of play. I thought they were either going to do really well or really bad. And Minnesota, kind of a middle-of-the-road Big Ten team, gets out with a win at USC. You know, experienced head coach, and I think experience is what kind of reigns supreme here. And then you had SMU beating Louisville. I mean, newcomers to the, to the ACC really kind of cementing their spot in this conference and saying, we're a power four team. We've just been playing below our level at, at a, a group of five conference. And now they might even win the ACC or contend for the yeah. ACC in their first year yeah. as, as a part of the conference. And speaking of winning a conference, Chris, what are your predictions for the conference winners this year? Ooh, um, I'm going to go Alabama with SEC. Uh, you know, Alabama did not look great against Vanderbilt. As we know, they did lose. But I feel you got to give her credit as due. They did beat Georgia. And I can confidently say that uh, Alabama could pretty much beat Texas. Move to the Big 12, I feel like Iowa State is definitely going to be another one good one. ACC going to go with Miami. Um, I feel like they've definitely been, you know, the past two weeks have been a little bit shaky. But they've been able to win games. And then... Big Ten, Ohio State, and then for group of five, I'll go Boise State. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna, i got to go Texas in the, in the SEC. i got BYU in the Big 12. I've got Ohio State in the Big Ten. I feel like they're getting caught up on a little bit, though. And the group of five, I still got to go Boise State, but I can kind of see maybe the service academies catching up. And quick for me, I'm going to go Texas winning the SEC in their first year. In the Big 12, I'm going to go Kansas State winning. I like their schedule. It's a, it, they don't have to play a lot of the really good teams in the Big 12. ACC. I'd like to say Cuse, but I'm going to still stick with Miami. But, you know, if Cuse keeps winning these big games, maybe. Big Ten, I'm going to go Ohio State, as everyone else said. And the Big Five, I'm a group of five, sorry, I'm going to go either Boise State or Liberty. Liberty does have an easy schedule, but I think Boise State is the better team. And now we're going to kick it to the MLB playoffs with Leo and Ethan. <laughs> 